So I know some of you guys are wondering, Mary, I thought this was supposed to be a travel vlog. Why are we in your backyard? Well, a lot of you guys have been asking me how the puppies, the lab puppies have been doing and they've been doing amazing. This is Henry. For those of you guys that don't know, he belongs to my parents and a lot of people have been questioning me like, how can a yellow lab and a black lab be brother and sister? It totally is capable. I'll even pop up a chart for you guys to see. But yeah, Henry is a lot bigger than Luna. Luna's a little bit smaller than I would say even an average lab would be. Um, but she has so much energy. Henry is just kind of like chill, mellow, and Luna's just like on a thousand full time. But they get to see each other once in a while, which is amazing. So I've also been watching like a lot of um, labs hunting with their owners on Instagram. And I think it's really like cool to see them out in their habitat just like going wild. Luna really does love the outdoors. She loves the cold. She loves to be sniffing around. I will say out of all my dogs I've had, by far the Labrador puppy has a lot of energy. So if you are thinking about getting one, just make sure you definitely have time in space for them having double double trouble is a lot of a lot of work just to make sure that they're not getting into anything they're not supposed to they're not going to hurt each other when they're playing wildly they're not going to escape so just so much to think about it's really nice to have henry come over and let luna play but gosh it is a lot of work when they're both over but do not get me wrong, I absolutely love Luna with my whole heart. She's so much fun and a great addition to the family and has been a really good girl. You will see throughout this vlog, we even take her out of town with us. She hangs out with a bunch of other dogs. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you are new to the channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. It means the world to me. Comment down below, uh, who do you like more, Luna or Henry? Yellow or black? No, you probably just like them both. But anyways, I hope you enjoy the rest of this vlog. So I did host a little pajama party with some of my girlfriends who just had newborns. I thought it was gonna be interesting to see how Capitan was going to react to these babies. He does really good with like kids, but these are baby babies. And he did so good. He also even got to see his friend Jace. Jace also has his own Rottweiler at home. So it's just, I thought, a really cute little clip to add on. all three dogs to go to Las Vegas. I also had to show you where the aliens like to charge up their spaceships as if they're charging up a Tesla. So that's their little uh, charging station if you ever wanted to know. And I also want to go to this little like spring preserve. It looks like a bunch of reptiles in there, something I would absolutely love. Then we finally made it back to Dana's house. And all right, I'm sure you guys go. remember Digger. The doodle dog, he's been on this channel quite a few times, but he's definitely a lot bigger. I believe he's like, whoa, you have a squeaker in your mouth. Nope. Thank you. I believe he is like three now, but he's been on my channel quite a few times ever since he was a puppy. Um, Luna is a little bit afraid of him. And then for all of you guys that are interested why his name is Digger, it's not because he likes to dig. I told you guys before, it is an Australian reference. I'll pop it up right here for you guys. He's back. Well, obviously, this is his house. <laughs> the second that Capitan walked into the house, he fell in love with this huge stuffy from Frozen. Um, yeah, it's from Chewy. I guess it's sold out. This guy is. But he absolutely loved it. Um, it's extremely heavy. 
So the fact that he was like tossing that around with no, it was like no big deal, was a little bit scary. But anyways, here are the rest of the doggies, Ruka and Digger. It's pretty chilly in Vegas right now. It's like 30 degrees. So Ruka needed her little jacket on. We got the fire. We just got the whole Christmas vibe going on and all the dogs have been doing great. Digger was excited to see them. And we also even had their friend Blaze come over. He's been on the vlog before. So just a bunch of happy dogs. They are really in the Christmas spirit. This is my beautiful Ruka for those of you guys who don't know. Digger had a date with the groomer, so that is why he's looking gorgeous, but he kept getting hair in his eyes, so my aunt wanted to trim it really short around there, so that's kind of why he's looking like a superhero, but nonetheless, I'm very handsome. Pretty much all day, this is what they do. They play, they go outside, they take naps, they eat. They just have a blast over here. So we decided to tire them out and then we decided to go to the strip of Las Vegas. We did not take any of the dogs with us when we went to the strip, but I did see a Rottweiler at the Bellagio. And it literally looked like it could have been Capitan's brother. I wanted to run up to the lady so bad and be like, oh my God, I love your Roddy. But I wasn't going to be a weirdo. Um, I love Vegas. I love old Vegas. So maybe you guys might see a cool spot you need to check out the next time. Would you guys ever go on that little freaking claw roller coaster? I don't think so. That's not me. Calm down below if you would. <laughs> Whether you are celebrating the holidays or not, I just really hope you are getting some kind of love and spending it with the ones you love the most, even if they're not human. I mean, gosh, I would hang out with my dogs all day. But anyways, stay safe out there. And you know what, you guys? I'll see you next year. Happy holidays. Bye.